Breakdown, insurance, policy, breakdown for all mobility scooters. I knew nothing about this. No idea what was happening. But then we got a friend called Leon that is a recovery driver. And he actually recovers vehicles from all over the United Kingdom. I'm talking Wales, Scotland, the whole of England. He does more miles than Richard Branson. And I'm not joking. His name is Leon. He's a very great friend of us, me and the Happy Club. And I'm honoured today because he doesn't like being on film. But he's doing this because he wants to share something with you all that might help you. There's a lot of people out there with mobility scooters. And if they break down, people just give up. But there is something you can do rather than just give up. Because Leon has got some really important information to share with us about mobility scooters breakdown. So without further ado, here is my friend Leon. Thank you, Leon. Could you please explain to everybody what you know and what people can do about scooters and breakdown? Basically, you, you can insure your car against breakdowns. You can insure your vans, trucks, anything really. If it moves, you can insure it. Even, even um, a scooter? Even a scooter. The thing with scooters are, obviously, they are a propelled vehicle. It will be electric, but they are propelled. Okay. And they do have the potential to break down, you know. It of does course, happen. it does happen, biggest, yes. Biggest, one of the biggest problems, like when we carry kits like this. Well, show me, show me, please. That there is a whole heap of inner tubes. Right. This is inner tubes? They're all inner tubes, or pre so inner tubes. What? Um, and basically, when you look at what's available, Yes. And how many, do you think they'd all be the same, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. They're not. Nothing like the same. So let me just try and get through to... You would expect every mobility scooter to have the same sort of inner tube. Each one of those is a different tube for a different scooter. A lot of them are the same. Yep. So for argument's sake, that will fit maybe seven or eight different models of scooter. Yeah. But obviously, we, this is what we carry um, yep. for, for punch repair. So okay. we don't repair the inner tube. We just replace it. Okay. It's based on a split rim. So the rim itself. Yep. Just quickly show you. This is a, this is sort of the idiot. Please, the please. So we've got no idea about this. And the if you got guys, it sucks. But for argument's sake, you, you're a, you're in a situation. Um, you know, it's a case of taking it apart. The rims are split rims, so they come apart. Well, you can do this yourself. Yeah, yeah, I can do. It. I, I do this. Are you, you sh are, can you go? And, the, can you go and recover my bullet scooters? Oh yeah, yeah. You can do it yourself. Recover them, but for inner tubes, for wow. argument's sake. Um, you know, this is basically what we do. We don't repair a tube, we replace a tube. We, we don't bother trying to repair it. We just, yep. just replace it. I like it. Um, so, and each one of these, as you can see, they're all got different, you know, depending on obviously what equipment they're, they're for. So you look, well, you look in your book, you'll know what you've got. And you know what so you know got. what scooter has what in yep, the tube? everything. So everything in there. So that's a big part of what we do, because obviously... Well, so you actually recover mobility yeah. tours? I mean, How would people get in contact with you? To well, what you it is, membership, I mean, we'll leave some details and obviously they can contact Please. you. Please. Contact us. Um, yes, show us your cards so they can, how they can contact you. Um, Thank you, Leon. So this is how, 24 hours, Greenfields Recovery. So this basically, this doesn't say mobility scooter? No, it doesn't. So well, bear in mind that I recover anything from mobility scooter. So you scooters. will recover a mobility scooter? Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go, ladies. This um, man, and they're the details how to get your mobility scooter recovered. A few things happen. Punches, which yes. obviously we can sort there and then and get the customer back on their way. Yep. Silly little faults like switches, possibly clean them up, put them back yep. together again, it goes. The how much should that cost them? It's around £45 a year. That's um, very good. With, with the extensive policy, that also covers them abroad. Well, wow. um, £45 pound a year to have your mobility scooter insured. That is very good value. Your biggest problem. That's, not, that's like less than a pound a week. That's, you can't go to the AA. That's like 80p a week. You can't go to the AA. You can't yeah. go to the Green Flag. You can't go to the RAC. Yep. I had a customer once that drove through a flood. Yep. And it stopped dead. Oh, yep. Um, she couldn't find anybody to recover the scooter. She, she phoned us. I went out to recover. Now, I, I did a bit of a deal for her. And at that point in time, that was around 65 quid for me to go out to her because she didn't have cover. But she said 45 quid for the year. She could have had it every day of the week. I've got a lady that... I'm well, not going to name names because I can't. No. I've got a lady that constantly runs out of charge. Yes. She forgets to charge the scooter. So we, we yep. see that on an on a almost weekly basis. And again, it doesn't cost her anything. Kev. So. Sorry, my arms out. You want to come and take over? <laughs> Thank you, because I can only do so much. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want, if you've got a mobility scooter and it ever, ever 
breaks down or you want insurance for 45 pound, 45 pound, 45 pound a year, contact this man. There's the details. We'll go straight through to our office in Derby. Right. Um, obviously, they're going to put an information pack in the post. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, it's one of those things that if you cover it that way, if it does break down, I mean, some of these scooters have got a range of around 25 miles. Yep. You know, so if you're 10 miles from home, it's a long way to push it, especially when you're in mobility. And even if you get yourself home in a taxi, you still want to get the mobility still get scooter. Your scooter. Which is what you do. You'd call me out to, to that sort of tow, you'd be charged about 75, 80 pounds to collect it. Okay. If you've got this cover, yep. it's obviously all free charge. Um, it's not known out there. The shops will try. I didn't know about it. I had no idea about it. A lot of the shops will try and promote their own little things. Yes. But they're actually quite restrictive. And if the shop in Clacton yes. isn't going to come down and yeah. yeah. come and recover your scooter because you've rode down while you're out and about in London, this policy will basically, what it does is it's a network of contractors. So what happens is whoever's local to that breakdown will get the job. So it's not like wow. the mobility shop trying to send you a scooter in, in Clacton, yep. which says, we'll come out to a breakdown. Mm. If you break down in Wales, there's no way in Cat's Earth they're going to come out and recover your scooter. So even though it might cost you £500 to go and recover it, you still would? Well, you wouldn't, it, yeah. It's, it's what it is. Yeah. It's not a case of that, because it won't cost that sort of money, because mobility scooters obviously have a limited range. Yes. So you'll be at, you're on holiday in Wales. Yeah. Um, you've gone for a ride in some sort of in town somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you rely on that scooter. Yeah. Um, it breaks down. You need to get it back to your vehicle to load it up. Yeah. That's where we'll come in. And nice. it's, it'll be a local firm that does it. So, you, you know, yeah. we try and get out, because basically class is a priority, so we try and get out in yep. good time. Yeah. Come and collect it. Obviously, take you back. There's times where you know there's been situations where they, they leave. Yep. You know they just leave them. And again, we'll just go and collect it, bring it back to, to where we want it to come to. Um, but like I said, it's a breakdown policy that is available. People don't know about it. They yep. should do. Yeah, they should do. I had no idea about it. I thought they were uh, exempt. Well, the shop, the shops don't want to promote too much. They want you to keep going back and get them to fix it. They do. Um, and it's probably a lot of money in it. Can be. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things you can do, keeping charge in it, yep. making sure your tyres are up to pressure. Because if the tyres low, you know, the tyre hasn't got a lot of pressure in it, it's more susceptible to pick up punches. Right. So, and you don't want to punch it into that room. Right. Ruins your day, ruins your. If, yep. you, if you go on to, say, for argument's sake, you've got the wall here or back to here, yep. and you want to up and down on there, you know, last thing you want is a puncture. Or, Definitely. Or it ruins your day. Yep. Somebody like, obviously, if it breaks down, I'll be called out, I've come down there, I've got another inner tube in. We, like I say, we only use yep. inner tubes to buy my oil at home. Um, so there's no cheap, there's nothing cheap about it. Yep. You know, the proper tubes, um, and that's what we do. So. Much it, really. Leon, thank you for that. No I have no idea about that and hopefully it's to help many people. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have a mobility scooter, why don't you do the wise thing and insure it? This is how.